Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the test groups in TestNG. Now, if you have been a manual tester and uh, trying to move to the automation uh, field, in the manual testing, we have seen that uh, all your test cases are categorized into different groups. For example, regression or functional or BVT, uh, which is for the build verification test, um, you know, a smoke test. So all these are different sort of groups in which or the categories in which your manual test cases are organized. Now, when it comes to automation, it is nothing different. In your automation uh, framework as well, the test cases that you are going to write will be part of certain groups so that you can execute those test cases accordingly wherever they are being required. Say, for example, you want to uh, perform or you want to execute only regression scenarios, um, then you will, you know, invoke the regression group of test cases in automation in the TestNG. So TestNG provides uh, the functionality to categorize your test cases into groups and we'll see how you can do or achieve that in TestNG. So if you go to TestNG documentation uh, here, uh, we'll see that you have this test method classes and test groups we'll go to test group test method and groups and you will see that you can define the groups at your method level and class level and how you will do it so basically say for example um, i'll take an example in eclipse so let me open that and say for example this was the test i'll simply uh, copy the content from here and I'll create a new class, okay? And I'll say um, group group demo test, all right? And in this particular, you know, class, I'll have some test cases, okay? So let me remove this. And before and after I'll remove all of those, I'll just have the test cases there, okay? Now, say for example, um, this is not required. Let me here remove it and put all the imports at the top. Okay, so errors are gone now. Okay, now this particular test case has two test cases, right? Or this particular, you know, like class has two test cases, test um uh, which is a a test one so let me um change it to a test one a test two or just say b test and then i'll create some other test cases as well okay so that i can show you how you can categorize your test cases in groups and how groups will be able to you know how you can utilize groups in order to categorize all your test cases let me remove all of these so i'll remove the description and so there is you know just the priority so priority we have understood that if you define the priority then that particular you know method will get executed first before the other methods right so priority one will get executed before priority two if the priorities are specified if priority is not specified it will execute your test cases in the alphabetical order okay now in order to define the test or group your test cases accordingly so now in this particular class we have four test cases, right? You see four annotations uh, here. So let me add the test annotation here as well. So third test case, and then this is the fourth test case, right? And in these four test cases, you want to group these, uh, you know, methods as different uh, tests. Say, for example, the first two one are the part of the regression suite. So what you need to do is you simply need to say group is equal to and uh, provide the uh, the group name so i can simply say group is equal to regression all right or uh, sorry groups is equal to regression and similarly say for example the second test case is also part of regression i can provide that and then the third test case is you know part of regression as well as it is part of some other group as well right so what you can do is you can simply provide comma separated group if the particular test case is part of you know multiple groups so say in this particular case this particular you know 
test case is part of regression as well as BVT. Okay. And similarly, uh, the fourth test case is part of BVT, right? So we can simply remove regression from here and we can say that this fourth, fourth test case is belongs to the group BVT. And now what the advantage of this, you know, adding the groups in these particular methods or test cases is that uh, if you want to execute only BVT test cases, you will be able to execute that from your testng XML file and we'll understand how you can create that testng XML file and execute your test case or the test cases that belong to only that particular group. In this particular tutorial, I'll show you how you can execute, uh, you know, these test cases manually uh, with just right click. So for example, now I just want to run the test cases which belong to the group BVT. Right, so in that particular test case, only this test three and four should get executed, right? So I'll just change it to three um, and four, and then we'll see we'll see that the test case is getting executed. So let me go to run configurations, and here uh, you have the option, right? So you have you can simply select groups. This is how you will do manually for with the Eclipse ID and click on browse. And you will see the groups that you have defined for these particular you know that methods are available if i want to execute only bvt test cases i'll select that and click on ok and then click on apply and run and okay there is some error uh, let me okay looks like this is yeah so there was an extra uh, thing there let me rerun it go to run configurations and run it so with this only bvt test cases so that means uh, the test cases that belong to bvt group will get executed and you can see here that b test 3 and 4 got executed right so that's the advantage of using group and now so for example you want to execute only regression test cases you simply select the regression group and execute your test cases and only regression test cases will get executed now internally uh, when you select this internally it by default you know generates or uh, adds this into the test ng or the xml run configuration which we'll look into later or next tutorial and uh, how you can configure the test ng xml to add or remove these groups in the execution so if i run this now the test cases which belong to the regression uh, you know group will get executed and you can see that three one and two got executed because there are three test cases which are part of this particular regression group so regression uh, test one uh, test two and then test three because test three is part of both the groups so if you choose regression that the, the the test case which belongs to uh, that particular you know uh, group will get executed as well now this is uh, about the grouping of the test cases or the methods within the class now for your you know the whole class or the test as well so this class as well can be grouped in a certain group and in order to group that i can simply mark the whole class as a test with the test annotation as well and similarly i can provide you know the group for this whole class okay say for example uh, this you know test the whole test belongs to user registration okay so i can specify that this class contains all the test cases or the methods which are part of the user registration group or user user registration functionality so if i just want to execute user registration functionality then there might be one class or multiple class which will belong to you know test or which uh, have the functionalities defined or the test cases defined to test this user registration functionality now if i want to execute all the test cases that are within this user registration you know uh, functionality or the group i simply can go run as go to run configuration and he from here i can select user registration and in that particular case because this particular class itself is annotated as a test and below it, it is has the group as user registration all the test cases below this particular class or within this class will be executed so in this case four test cases that belong to this particular you know class are getting executed 
right so you can define groups at you know uh, class level or you know method level and groups provide you very you know decent functionality to group your test cases accordingly and this will be used a lot in the actual application when you are doing or classifying your test cases accordingly it is no different than the manual test cases like in the manual test case in test management tools you used to categorize your test cases as regression or bvt or smoke similarly in the automation you are just providing these groups and providing the group name in order to group your test cases so that when you want to execute only regression test cases you simply specify that particular group name and only regression test cases get executed in that particular execution cycle this is also helpful when you are trying to uh, set up these you know jobs in jenkins which we'll um, see in the further tutorials how we'll be utilizing to you know set up the jenkins job for daily bills or regression uh, etc so these groups will be really really helpful in the advanced topics that we are going to learn in further tutorials now going back to the documentation um, we have covered you know the test groups uh, how you will specify the groups and what is the advantage of group and now this test ng file and how you can utilize or include or exclude group in your test ng file we'll look into the next tutorial after this so that's all about the groups in this particular tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching